Welcome to Photoshop ASAP.com. You're watching part two of a series illustrating how to prepare an image for eBay using Photoshop. In our last video, we straightened our box. In this video, we're going to separate it from its background using the path tool. If you already feel comfortable using the path tool, feel free to click on my profile and view the next lesson. Otherwise, let's get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is come up here to the view menu. We're going to want to pull down to show and then over and down to guides to turn them off so that they don't interfere with the paths as we begin to draw them. Let's come down here to our zoom tool and we're going to drag a selection around this top left hand corner here. As a general rule, I like to come in close enough that I can see pixels and that actually looks pretty good there. So let's come over here to the path tool. We're going to click our first anchor point right here where the back of the box meets its riser, so we'll click right there. Then we'll come up here to the side. There's a very slight curvature here, so instead of just clicking an anchor point, I'm going to click and drag out some handles. And these handles, as you can see, actually help create curvatures. And so as subtle as that is, I actually do like to create them. And uh, so we'll come around here. And then we need to change direction here. So what I'm going to do is click this last point right here. And that will create a sharp point, And I'll drag right there. As a general rule, I li like to make sure that my handles match the objects, the edge of the object that I'm actually tracing here. Let's uh, hide this palette for now. Here's a tip for you. As I work around this image, I like to use the hand tool. But rather than go over to the tool palette all the time and select it and keep moving, I hold down my space bar and I can grab. It turns my cursor to a hand temporarily and I can grab the image and just move it. So let's keep uh, clicking and dragging out these handles. Just about like so here. And we'll just keep moving along the box. And then I'll come here to this point right here. I've got a real small curvature around the tip of this. So again, I just click and drag out these handles. As you can see, they're just matching the curve of the box. And then I've got a little bit of a bump here, so I will drag that out like that. And hold down my space bar and keep moving my image around. The handle's always matching the curvature of the box. So here I've got a little unusual situation. I have two different angles. I have one for the previous curve, and I have another handle that wants to help create the next curve. But they are at two different angles, and so I can't move them independently. To move them independently, what you do is you hold down your Option key or the Alt key on the PC, and you can adjust them separate of each other. So now I've done that. Let's keep on moving down the box here. Hold down my space bar and get my hand tool temporarily. Let's come on down here. This is all pretty straight here, so we'll just keep on dragging these out. I, even though this is obviously straight, I like to drag out handles. Oh, here we go. This is changing direction. I like to drag out handles because if there is a slight curvature, I want to make sure that I don't have a kind of hexagonal shape when I'm done if I just click, 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 click without dragging out the handles. So uh, we're just going to keep moving on down the side of the box here. And now we come down here to the base. We're going to move around this corner here again, making sure that I'm parallel to the edge of the box. Grab my hand with the space bar, and we're going to just keep moving our way around this way. Very subtle angles here, if any at all. And we're going to pick this up here. Now we're down to the point of the box here, the corner. We're going to drag out here again. I need to change directions, so I'm going to hold down my Option key here because I have a curve on the previous segment and this a little different angle here on the next one so if you hold down your option on the Mac alt on the PC you can get that and so we're just going to keep working away around the box here straight away here keep on dragging hold down, down my spacebar to get my hand tool and uh, keep dragging these out about like so and we're going to come up to here and about like so and then we've got this part right here. There's a very slight curvature here. I don't know if you can detect it. So I'm going to drag that out. And I'm going to click right here. And then click right here to close. Now I can't forget about the hole over here. I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to click. I'm going to click across the top. Hold down my shift key to make sure my handles don't go askew. Click here. And then click here for the straightaway. Click and drag out to create the curvature. Click right here for a very slight curve. Drag out my handles. Now if I hold down my command key on the Mac, control key on the PC, I temporarily get an arrow that I can use to move anchor points around, which is very kind of nice. And then I'll click and hold down my shift key to uh, get the next point so that it will stay straight. I'll click and drag out here. And I'll click and drag out. Or I'll click right there. I'll click right here. And then I'll click right here, holding down my shift key. Now as a general rule, I don't like to have my handles come out past 
my curves because as you can see there are bulges created. We'll come back and fix that in a moment and click right there to close. Now again if I hold down my command key I can see the handles and I can hold down my shift key and adjust them uh, let's, and we can grab our anchor point there too still holding down my command key. That looks about right right there. So let's come over here to our paths tool or our paths palette. It's important that we unselect our paths palette and our path and we reselect it so it gets both paths, the outlying path and then the path used for the hole. If we click on this icon right here, the third one from the left on the bottom of the palette, with the one with the little dots, that's the marching ants and that will give us a selection. So let's click on that and as you can see it's selecting the box. Let's come up here to view and we're going to pull down to fit on screen so you can see a little better. You can see the box is selected and we're going to use that to separate it from its background. That's pretty much all there is to the pen tool. Go ahead and click on my profile to watch the next video in this series. Also visit our website at www.photoshopasap.com to talk to a real life person about this or any other Photoshop issue you might have. Thanks for watching Photoshop ASAP.